Hi, today I want to share with you one of my latest projects, a biochar bio oil reactor. Below 150 degrees Celsius, all the moisture going out directly through the bypass valve. At 200 Celsius, I'm closing the bypass valve to let the hot gas starting to go through the vortex uh, filter where the tar stay in the first jar the gas continue in the copper coil that cooling down the gases and separate bio oil and syn gas over 200 celsius the hot gas continue to pass through the vortex filter and the copper coil to separate uh, tar and uh, bio oil and syn gas the flame is really stable at this temperature and the electric element keep the temperature really really hot. After 5 hours of uh, nice flame, I'm starting just for fun to boil some water from that flame um, and I boil an uh, entire can of 600 millimeters of water. Near to 400 Celsius, um, the flames start to going down after six uh, hours of a nice flame. After let's it cooling down for a night, I'm open the pyrolysis chamber to see all of the biochar I'm produce in the six hours of eating. Um, from all the crap wood uh, I'm put inside this chamber. The tar filtered by the vortex filter and collected in the first jar is really uh, sticky and really thick, um, really viscous and if you start to eat it up, it's not catch uh, in fire really fast like uh, gasoline or something like like that it's look like more uh, like wax from a, a candle bio oil condensate in the copper tube and collected in the second jar catch in fire pretty fast and, and doesn't emit a lot of smoke like you can see, this is a prototype. I don't want to run it over electricity for 7 hours. My goal is to start the process with electricity or any other source of energy. And after the syn gas can get in fire in a really stable flame, I want to put it back under the pyrolysis chamber to keep the process running without, without any other energy. So this way we can get a, a self-sustainable uh, closing loop. Thanks for watching.